Well, you know, the folks on the Outer Banks are used to this. They are a storm hardened bunch. They are, but the infrastructure there, well, not so much. Allison Basil is live for us in Duck tonight with what Arthur left behind. David Nicole Arthur pushed through earlier this afternoon, but it left behind wind gusts and I'm sure you can still hear that high surf crashing down behind me and I feel a little bit of that rain that Jeff was just talking about, but we talked with the shop owners and visitors earlier today who say they aren't worried about the weather. They're just happy to be here. The surf is rough. The winds gusty. Anything's better than being cooped up in your house. But tropical storm Arthur didn't bother Outer Banks vacationers. Maryland got lifted, but Montgomery County is still like under quarantine. So we were just like, might as well quarantine at the beach instead of at home. Many flocked to Dare County as soon as the visitor ban ended. This was going from zero to 60 uh, pretty much overnight, but um, we were ready for everybody. We, we had the homes ready. Resort Realty of the Outer Bank says they are a lot busier than they were last May. They just hope a lively hurricane season isn't in the cards. In the Outer Banks, and I've got the map behind me, you can see we're, we're out here. We're kind of used to these things cropping up. Dare County officials monitored Arthur's storm surge Monday. NCDOT crews kept an eye on the roads. A lot of the standing water was sort of at different spots all along uh, Highway 12. By nightfall, officials gave the all clear, seeing no ocean overwash issues from Bash Night Bridge to Hatteras. It was business as usual for restaurants like NC Coast Grill and Bar. They're not bothered too much by, uh, you know, the pandemic and then the tropical storm. Next, we might have aliens. I have no idea what's going to happen. Rain or shine, many are happy to be staring at someone else's walls than their own. Really pretty to see and like we can hear it from our house, which is really cool. And NCDOT officials want drivers to remain cautious as more rainy weather is set to head in this week. Live in Duck, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.